going to start my video this way or here today, but I have a few minutes because I'm sitting here. <laughs> I just donated blood and I just want to make sure that I'm okay to drive home. I did not hydrate well before <laughs> I came down to this appointment. I forgot to bring my water downstairs from my bedroom and then forgot that I only had a half hour before I had to leave. And so I grabbed this little protein drink on my way here. It wasn't quite enough. So hydrate well before your visit to get blood, to give blood. Um, otherwise, you get a little bit like, not, I'm a little woozy, a little dizzy. I sat in there for quite a while and they put ice on me and whatnot. It wasn't dramatic or anything, but I just want to make sure that I'm stable enough to drive home. And I'm just in a holding pattern. I wanted to go for a walk today because it looks so pretty and nice outside. But it's just chilly enough. I just want to walk in sunshine. I want to enjoy the day and be out and let some sun on my body, but it's cold. Like you can see, I've got my sweatshirt on. So I'm going to wait a little bit and hopefully go for a walk in a little while. So I'm going to hold off going for a walk because um, I really want to take a shower and get cleaned up because tonight we are doing something fun. But I'm not going to tell you what that is quite yet. I'm going to tell you when I'm all done up and ready to go. Jason and I have a little date night tonight with a couple other couples. We're going to go somewhere. Maybe I've already said, maybe I've already given it away, but it's okay. We're going to keep you along for the secret. When I look nicer, I'm going to get all, not done up. We're not getting all dressed up, just like showered and ready for the day. I just didn't want to get showered and ready for the day to come and donate blood to wear a mask and whatever. It wasn't important to me. So I also need to go get gas and pick up a little snack for Jason so we know where I'm going. We're going to Costco, but that's all I'm getting. $10 at Costco. That is my limit, unless I find a snack for me, but I shouldn't have a snack. I actually want to know if you guys like those coconut chocolate keto clusters. Do you know, if you know Costco, you know what I'm talking about. They're on BOGO right now. Buy one, get one free. Let me know if you like those. I don't want to like buy two whole packages of them if I end up not liking them. I do have a couple friends who are on a keto diet and they might wanna buy it off of me if I don't like it, but I just don't wanna waste it. Let me know down below if you guys like that. I know you know what I'm talking about if you know Costco. It's right up front, buy all the snacks. Um, if you do like it, it's on buy one, get one free right now. <laughs> and it's, anyway, it's a good deal. I just um, need to find snacks like that that I actually enjoy and look forward to. But otherwise, I'm gonna go back home and edit. And you guys, I just am finishing editing that video with the footage. It's so bad. But like, I needed you to see that video to understand like all of these doctor visits because like, or, and like my medication in the next video, if you haven't watched them, go back and watch them because I kind of needed that video to go out even though the footage is so, so bad. <laughs> feel horrible and I didn't end it very well and I didn't end it at all but it is what it is sometimes that's what our days look like I guess that's the moral of the story sometimes our day is just filled with crappy footage quite literally and it doesn't actually come out good on the other end of it <laughs> and you move on and you wake up to a new day we fall apart and I won't dare to say do you feel the same way Do you like these? Are they good? I don't I don't know if they would be good. But see, look, they're buy one, get one free right now. See? You guys, now I remember why we didn't get them last time. They don't have them. He's going to be in withdrawal. You guys, there's, they're not here. Oh, he's going to be so sad. He was looking forward to them. There's not any here. Maybe I'll get everyone. These are on rebate. Maybe I'll get, like, he can take a stack of Oreos. <laughs> Where we're going oh and they're on rebate i also found these guys these are on rebate as well they were eight dollars instead of 13. so i got these ones for me and ashley as well okay back in my car and i'm feeling like my blood sugars are not well <laughs> i need to snag one of these i'm gonna do raspberry lemonade i got a little nervous like walking through 
Costco there. And I have this. I've got a little bit more. It's like Propel. Thurster? It's a generic brand of Propel that I got from the blood people. And a little bit of this. And then drive home. Good thing I didn't go for a walk right now. I don't think I would have been safe. Pretty good. Oh, you guys. <laughs> been crying for like the last half hour oh I've been watching um this is us and it's the last episode I think it's the last episode and like the for final the finale and if it's not I haven't really like um talked about my mom's last day and um if this show isn't a depiction of that I don't like I don't know what is and I'm just sitting here crying and <laughs> thinking of my mom and I know this is really random this time has hit me like really random um I haven't even finished watching the show um but if it's going where I think it's going um the one daughter doesn't make it to say goodbye maybe she does I don't know and I was the one daughter that didn't get to make it to say goodbye to my mom and my siblings were able to be there but I know that I was there in spirit with her and Oh, I'm sorry, this is just like so random, but so I was sitting here watching this and I was uh, perusing Facebook on my phone, just totally random, and um, found out that my friend, dear friend, that we hang out with every week, um, some of our best friends, oh, this is good news, <laughs> I promise, um, she just quit her job as a principal at the middle school and it's not our kids middle school but it used to be and uh, it's been a hard time for teachers and principals and administrators but I can't tell you how much I'm happy for her to be done with this job it's been so hard on her and her family and I know that it's hard to like have people quit this industry like and not have that's why she's quitting because she didn't have the support she needed to to be able to do her job so I get the irony of her doing this um, and why other teachers and people have, have quit as well and nurses and doctors and like doctors I haven't really heard of quitting but nurses have they took a really big beating this past two years but I say this because <sighs> You have to do things for yourself without really giving a ton of personal details away out of her life because that's not my place. But I'm just so happy for my friend and we get to hang out with him tonight. I don't know if she planned to announce <laughs> that she was quitting today and then go and see Downton Abbey, which is what we're going to do. And it seems so like insignificant at this point in the game now. It used to, today, the, this morning when I woke up, it was such a big part of my day. Oh yay, we get to go see a movie. It's so insignificant compared to the relationship that we have with each other and with ourselves and our families and um, cherish them. You guys, just cherish that time you have with your family, especially when your kids are young and your grandkids are young. I want to be that grandma that has a little bit more energy to be able to travel or, or play or babysit or, you know, with my grandkids. Um, ah, life is too short, you guys, and you gotta live it. You gotta enjoy it. I <laughs> was talking to Lydia, who is a follower here. We were chatting all afternoon about <laughs> wanting to go back to Maui and we always like talk about us going back with her and her husband Nick when we met them in Maui last year <laughs> we talk about going back with them again and that's it's a pipe dream for both of us but um at the same time it's not you know it's not we don't have to have pipe dreams in life we need to live life and and do it now while we have the physical and ability to do so I don't know I'm just going on a little TED talk I guess I always joke with my sister we mark up all of each other and when we go on a little rant or a little sob fest or a you know whatever we're frustrated with this that or the other we always end with and I conclude my TED talk today <laughs> Um, so I will conclude my TED talk with you guys right now. Um, also, if you're wondering what like this weird bun is doing over here, I tried something different. And yes, I'm deflecting from my red face right now. So I didn't do the little twisty on that side. I started it further over on this side and I have 
gone around and all the way over the back. It's now gotten kind of pillow mashed, so I've got to redo it to go out. I'm going to go and redo my face and get ready to go out. I've been trying to call Jason because I wanted to tell him about our friend while I could cry and not mess up my makeup, but I'm sure going to cry again tonight when I see my friend, and I'm just so happy for them. I just imagine us being able to like hang out at the beach and the 4th of July with them. Ugh, I just can't even. I'm so happy for her. And, um... Yeah, I'm just so happy for my friend. And I miss my mom. She was the first person I wanted to call. Because my mom knows. My friend and her husband and her kids. We've known them for 12 years. Chelsea's whole life. Ah, I'll let you guys go. <laughs> I'm a sobbing mess and I haven't even finished watching the show. <laughs> okay, much better. Got myself done up. The light looks really weird right here. I have makeup on. But it just kind of sucks that... It, Looks sunny and nice out there, and it probably will be nice, but we're going to go to a theater. So I've got like this nice, cute, like bright colors. We're feeling the summer sunshine vibes. And then I have to bring a sweatshirt because it's going to be cold <laughs> within an hour of going out. So I just talked to Jason. He is on his way home. I have Marco Polo with my sister. Um, what else have I done? Gotten ready and check in with the kids so we can leave them here and they can fend for themselves. Yes, I'm filming while I drive. I got it in control. <laughs> I do, I always have it in control. But we are getting ready to go to a movie with our friends. We're gonna go see Downton Abbey. And it's just gonna be fun to uh, talk with our friend, talk to them earlier, and uh, just kinda see how she's doing. I bet it's been a really emotional day for her. I'm surprised that she still wants to do this. Maybe she just needs the break, but it's gonna be fun. This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone on the night I don't know who I was just waving to you, but it's not our friends. I'm just waving over there and I'm like, what are you doing? I thought it was Shane. No. But it was a Jeep, not our friend in his truck. Anyway. <laughs> we just didn't in the parking lot just hanging out with our friends and one of them he was like well I kind of need to go I'm going on a bike ride at 2 a.m. and it's 10 30 and he still has another half hour at least to get home I know and he's training to do the, the what is it called Seattle to Portland yeah STP. STP he's training to do that so he has a hundred miles that he has to bike ride tomorrow this is great lighting um, and we're like dude why don't you tell us that we've been just like you know, jibber jabber. Jibber jabber. And like, you need to go home. And he's like, I know, but I really like talking to you guys. Anywho, awesome movie. Oh, it was oh my gosh. It was, it was so fun. And like, we were, <laughs> that was our friend. Um, so we had like the whole back row with our friends and then there's like two extra couples on each side of us. And the girl next to me, like was like, I mean, she just was like giddy as all get out, just like the rest of us were. But like- I wasn't giddy. No, you weren't. And, uh, but Shane was, Shane's laughs were so funny. Um, and he is a guy's guy. Um, he's a diesel mechanic and he's just like, he was loving all of the one-liners from, um, from Granny. She's the best. But uh, if you haven't seen can't Downton Abbey, give a spoiler. Don't no, spoilers. I'm not going to give any spoilers. Like this is to Lydia and Nick. You need to just oh. suck it up. They've never seen any British shows, and I don't That's... understand. I don't understand they write that. Things so much better than they American. do. British TV is so much better. Like I just need you to trust us. Look, I didn't watch Downton Abbey till like season three, and then I'm like, oh wow, okay. So I went back and watched it. Got caught up. Yeah. I watched Downton Abbey. Uh, what was those other cop mystery things? Oh, all the cop several, shows are fantastic. Several different ones. True, not true, true crime, but British crime shows are so good. So, anywho, um, I highly, highly recommend it. But this movie was so good. And this girl next to me, she just was like laughing at the same points, obviously. But like, she was like, saying things out loud to herself and like I just turned to her and I was like thank you for being the person sitting next to me and she's like isn't this so fantastic <laughs> and it was like we talked the whole movie we, you know we would like 
and I even told her, I was like, you need to tell your, is that your husband? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, look how many husbands are here watching this movie with us. And she's like, isn't it fantastic? And it just was, it was such a fun, like we, it's been years since we've been able to like go to a movie where the whole audience is like participating and laughing and like well, everybody cheering. Knows the yeah, you know the like, characters yeah. already and oh, it's really, really dark. It was just such a fun movie and fun friends to go with and it's just a great way to end our night and to celebrate our friend um, being able to quit this job of hers. She has no clue where she's gonna go and work after this and she needs to go and work, but um, she said I couldn't have picked better people and a funner activity to do tonight to celebrate this next chapter in my life and it was fun to be with her. But um, anyway, so I won't give away the ending of this movie. It's great. It was very interesting. Very but it was funny. very fitting and telling oh, for the like, day I had today in the time of little innuendos. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it was great. The one-liners are so good. You got to try it, it if you haven't great. watched *Downton Abbey*. You got to start at season one and watch all six seasons quickly, and then go so, through the movie. Quickly, they're like an hour long. <laughs> Anywho, we're going to sign off with you guys. Take care, and you can't even see us. So take care, and we'll see you guys next time. Good night. Best thing about it is I know I'm coming back. Oh, oh. Of all the magic.